Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today we are doing a first impressions video on a fragrance that I have seen a lot. I've seen it on Instagram, highlighted on certain pages and have also heard some YouTubers talk about this scent and ends up on some lists. So I was very curious about this one because of the level of attention that it gets. This particular, uh, fragrance I was able to get for $115. The scent we are talking about is Gris Chanel from BDK Parfums. And as I said, I got a pretty good deal on it, all things considered of what this normally is listed for. Uh, I'll be sure to link it down below, but I'm gonna bust this open. I'm gonna try it on strip, see what notes I pick up, take a look at the notes and then put it on skin and see how much it changes and ultimately let you guys know if this is deserving of all the hype that it gets. So so here you have the box and on the front here, they actually uh, put the notes, what look like the notes. I don't know what the noir is. Here they have Fig, the noir, Absolute Iris, Vetiver Bourbon, Santel de Indy, and Absolute Fieve Tonka. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing that stuff correctly. I'm sure it's French. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration and wow, very similar to what you get, the way the box slides out here, and you guys will be familiar with this. Very similar to Banana Republic's fragrances from the Icon line. So this slides out, and then you have your bottle here, and the bottle is even reminiscent of that particular line. Your sticker with the name, BDK Parfums Paris. And interesting juice color. It's almost like a grayish olive juice color here that if you see here, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's olive and gray juice. So really heavy in the hand, nice presentation so far, really heavy cap. So let's take a look quickly at that atomizer. Wow, fantastic atomizer on this as well. So let's get this on strip and see what it does. So in the air, I'm picking up some sweetness initially. Uh, very clean smelling, a little bit powdery, almost soapy, slightly perfumey in the air, if that makes any sense. Atomize is really nice on this. All right, let's see. Gris Chanel from BDK. Okay, so there's a freshness here but that freshness is coming from florals. So on initial spray, I don't want to jump to conclusions and say this is leaning feminine or masculine, but initially my thoughts is this is definitely a unisex fragrance. Let's see if that changes a bit, but on initial spray, I'm getting unisex vibes. And that's mainly because of that clean sort of powdery, floral aspect to this. There is iris in here, as I mentioned. So I think that's where that powderiness is coming from. But the iris is really nice. It smells a little different than some irises that I own in my own collection. Different than an iris in, say, a Diorome Intense. Not the same. But you can pick it out as iris. Again, powdery, a little bit sweet. And as this settles in a bit, I'm picking up maybe a sandalwood. There's a creaminess to this. And there's overall a really high quality vibe coming off of the strip. So that's, with all the nuances that I'm actually able to get off of the strip, that's exciting because when I get it on skin, just sort of history tells me that it's gonna come alive off of the skin. So let's, Cut to the chase, put this on skin and see how much it changes. So the notes for Gris Chanel from BDK Parfums, top notes are cardamom, fig, and black tea. Mid notes are iris and bourbon vetiver. And the base notes are sandalwood and tonka bean. Off of my skin, far more familiar iris than what I was getting off of the strip. That's really the standout here. And there is some sweetness as well. I can't quite pinpoint it as fig, but it is coming across as a slightly fruity sweetness and it could be also a combination with that cardamom, adding a slight 
fruity spice because I do tend to pick that up with cardamom personally. It's not just straight spice all the time. I do get a fruitiness from that as well. This is really nice from a quality standpoint off of my skin. It smells really smooth, high quality, upscale, elegant is a fantastic word for this. And for me, you know, that familiar iris note reminds me of something like a Diorum Intense. So I find that to be a masculine note, but a lot of guys see that as a feminine note. So again, I think it, this does a nice balance of that unisex type familiarity that you would get from a unisex fragrance where you can't really pinpoint it masculine or feminine. So that I do like about it, but this is something I would absolutely wear just on initial impressions. I'm not picking up any white florals, so to speak, or anything like that, any sort of musk. Those are the sort of combinations of notes that lean more feminine for me. White florals, jasmine, uh, indolic fragrances with uh, some type of musk in the background. But this isn't that. This is this is really nice. For what I paid for this, I'm really happy. I got the 100 ml for $115. And this is just incredible quality just initially. I'd be curious to see how, I don't think the quality is gonna suffer, but what might suffer here is the projection longevity. I'm not getting massive project projection from this. I am getting the sense that this is probably going to last. I will absolutely wear this for a full day to give you guys a real impression of what I got in terms of overall performance. But as I said, I am expecting this to probably last a good amount of time on my skin. As this dries down a bit, I am getting a little bit of that earthy vetiver. It's a little bit grassy. The powderiness, that iris is settling a bit. And that tonka bean, again, adding even more powder sweetness to this. This is a really, really fine fragrance. I'm pleasantly surprised with this. Again, that iris is reminding me a lot of the Orum Intense now on skin. It's not quite as strong as that. And there seems to be a little bit more going on here in terms of that vetiver, the um, the tonka, that vanillic touch this has. So it, it's really nice. Occasions I would see this wearing is probably more dressy, sort of sophisticated situations. Definitely be worn to work. Seasons, you're probably going to want to lean more on the cooler months. Uh, but I can see getting away with this on a summer evening as well, that might be a little bit cooler, maybe by the water. And as I said, this is absolutely can be worn by the ladies. So I would highly recommend this fragrance just on first impressions to definitely give it a try for the overall quality presentation I'm really happy with and the scent overall. I love iris, I love iris based fragrances. So if you are a fan of iris, that to me is the standout note here. But as I said, you have other sort of notes that people tend to grab onto that they like quite a bit, like that cardamom. And I wish I was picking up a bit more of the fig. If that, if there's any drawback to this, it's that I wish that fig was amped up a little bit more because I absolutely love fig and fragrances. So yeah, overall, really uh, pleasantly surprised with this scent. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any experience with BDK Parfums Gris Chanel. Uh, I know there's an X straight. I guess I'll have to try that one next, but overall, I'm happy with this one. Guys, really quickly, we are approaching 9,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I am doing a giveaway currently right now as I'm filming this for 8K. So we hit 8,000 subscribers a few weeks back. I'm doing a giveaway there. I will link the video down below in the description on the rules on how to enter that assuming it's still going on at the time that you're watching this. But again, guys, thank you so much for supporting this channel, for supporting me. I love doing these videos and I'm gonna continue to do them as long as you guys like watching them. So thank you. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. <music>